Hey guys, I just wanted to come and show you what books I got in the month of October. Um, I'm not a big purchaser. Um, I try just to pick up things that call to me and if I bring something in, I make sure I take something out. I did um, a video about my bookshelf being minimal and I like to keep it that way. So if I love a book, I'm going to keep it and usually invest, if it's a soft bag, I will invest in hardback in it. But if I enjoyed it but I don't need to keep it, I do pass along to someone else to enjoy it instead. So I do want to show you the two books that I got. The first book is called Disability Visibility by Alice long and I'm part of something at my new job called BRG and that acronym stands for business resource group and it's different types of groups that they have they have a women's group um, a black American group all kinds of different groups that's usually kind of marginalized that want to make a difference in the business world that they're currently in so I did recently join a BRG with people with disabilities and just trying to be an advocate and be visible and they are reading this book together, doing chapter by chapter, not in a row. And it's just stories about people with different capabilities or disabilities, however you like to term yourself, um, and how they make it visible to reduce ableism and what I call fake praise. Like, oh, this is so inspirational. And it's not really, you're just a human doing human things. It's not inspirational that I can cross the street. <laughs> That's very demeaning when you hear something like that. So these are stories of individuals that try to make a difference in business, personal, social, sports, any arena that people have unusual bias with people with different capabilities. So I'm really, really excited to read this with my group. As you guys know, as I shared in all my videos, I do use special technology. It's glasses I can wear on my face. It has a special camera that reads written word. So I get to have the experience of reading a book by holding a book and it's an audiobook. So I'm really excited to read this. This really, really rings to my heart because I always want to make sure that people understand that let go of your implicit bias just because you may have that thought of, wow, I have sight or I have hearing or I can walk. I couldn't imagine so-and-so having this particular physical, mental, whatever disability can do what I do. I wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah, that's you, but people do it every day. So really excited for this one. The next one is a children's book, I think, which I love. I love like, <laughs> children's book that take on like really 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 spooky or really really like unique topics um, the last children's book that I absolutely fell in love with that I have a copy of is Coraline and of course I saw the movie <laughs> but this one is called Pet I absolutely love that there is a little black girl represented um, her name is Jam she has a best friend Redemption love the character names love the love 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 the bright pink cover of this so i definitely got this in hard back because i just have a feeling this is going to be my jam <laughs> and i want to keep it um basically it's about a society that's utopian there's no more monsters left in the world they are telling all the kids but but jam happens to find a monster in her basement what does that mean what does it do? So I'm really, really excited to get into this. I'm not sure if it has illustrations or pictures or not in it. Um, I'll more likely take my time with this and use a, a magnifier and try to read it on my own. And especially if it has pictures, I really want to be able to use the magnifier and see it. Um, especially if my if my technology can't describe the pictures to me so i'm gonna take my sweet time because i think i'm gonna really 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 enjoy this so those are the books that i got um if you have already read them let me know your thoughts don't spoil it for me but just let me know if you liked it and on a scale of one of five five being the best what would you give so guys i will slip out and i'll see you next time and enjoy the rest of your weekend